Let's view a calculator. Open Android Studio and click the plus button. Select empty activity and click next. Now enter app name, package name and select Kotlin. Click the finish. With the calculator, firstly you need to go to Google and search for Android calculator. Right any of your favorite image all right and click save as Android studio and go to the layout folder remove the text view and then you can drag your downloaded image into your drawable folder and click OK after dragging, here you can rename it into um, cow.png. Right, almost there. Next, we need to set a background to cow. Ta-da! And you are done. Sorry, my bad. I found that by doing so, it only display an image of the calculator, and you cannot do anything with that. So let's start again with the design of the calculator. Firstly, it is a display of the calculator from here to here, and we have several rows of buttons. So we have one row, two row, three row, four, and five rows. Based on the measurement or estimation, you can set the height of this display at twice at the height of each of these buttons. So this is two and one, 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 one. This is a ratio that you can use to divide our screen. Horizontally, we will divide it into four parts. One, two, three, four. On the design, we can now modify the activity main.xml. Firstly, we remove this background and we can change the constraint layout to grid layout. Next, we need to set um, the number of rows and number of columns, it's a row count. Uh, seven columns, column count, let's go to four, right, so we have uh, seven by four uh, reads a result area, so it, it is a text view, text view, and the width, to match parents, and the height, To zero dB, and we want to adjust it automatically based on the weight. We can make the text view look cleaner by adding the size. The style file is not exist, so um, we can create it by select the red box. Move this one to the result style, etc. After editing all the uh, other attribute, uh, you will have the uh, result that look like this. It is uh, the style of the text view. Similarly, now we create the second row.
we we need a library called Java Evaluator to integrate the library into our project. Firstly, we can visit search maven org. Next, we can type in Java Evaluator and click in this version. And we will use Greater Kotlin DSL for our project. So click Copy. Now, let's move back to our project. Expand the radio script and go for and go for app here in the just paste the um, text into the dependency like this and sync your project. We need to modify our main activity so that it can use the library Java, my calculator, and main activity. And we select the right one from android.view.view. We need to click the red box and select implement members. Click OK. Right. Here we gonna proceed the expression and update the result. Firstly, we want to update the result text view every time we click any buttons on the screen. Finally, when we click the equal button, it will update the result using um, Java Evaluator. So let's start with updating the uh, result text view. Every time we click a button here, so we will process the action here and try to update the value in the result text view. We will create a couple of local variables. So create text view equal to v at uh, text view. Uh, next, uh, we can create a result text view variable. value that we want to check actually the text of each button so we use text view on the text to string right and in case delete delete and it will perform the following actions we need to check if the old text contains something that compare its length to zero and then we create a new text we remove the last character of the old text so we use the substring method of text substring from the first index and the end index is actually old text dot length minus one. Then we can set the result text view dot set text to the new text. Let's A few moments later. One, two, and three. Good. Next, we handle uh, the um, uh, the empty button. Similarly, we can type it in case empty. We clear uh, the result text view.
for other button, we need to append a character to the end of the result text view. So we can create a variable name to append string. It will be the text view dot text on the string. And it is an operator. We can use a switch in Kotlin syntax. And we can see if it is uh, an X um, or forward slash plus minus or hyphen. And for all of these, we return Finally, we need to handle the equal button. Now, we need to perform some calculation here and update the result. We will create an instance of an infig evaluator. Firstly, we create a, uh, an object called evaluator. equal double evaluator. Next, we uh, get some result equal evaluator dot evaluate. Uh, the expression come from the result text view. So we get the result text view dot text to string. And finally, we update the result. Result text view dot set text result. And we need to convert it into st a string, so we can use a string result. Expression equal um, result text view dot text dot replace. We need to replace the multiply characters. The multiply character it is here with an asterisk.
so that we don't crash our program. Let's try with the multiply operator again. Clear. Equal. That's great. How about other com more complicated one? Clear. One plus two multiply with three minus five equal two. Right. So we have complete. So we have finished create a calculator with Kotlin. I hope you enjoy it and please give it a like and subscribe for the channel.